hip hop, hip hop, yeah. hip hop, hip hop, bars is back, hip hop, Sam hip and hop, oh god. Pop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side. And you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Happy to basically meet the young brother, know his family, do a song with him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we didn't get to shoot the video, but we was able to shoot, do the song with him. And he got a ton of music because he loved to make music. He, he actually, it's sad because I sit and I watch. When it, when they make, take any of them, if they make a regular song, it seems like it'll fall on deaf ears. But as soon as they do the drill style song, this and the ops, this and the dead yeah. homies and all that, it do 100 million views. Yeah. So it's the appetite of America's love for violence, man. You know, and it's 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 it's, it's sad overall. C curious, what do you guys think about somebody like a uh, DZ Academics who has been covering the drill scene for maybe the last what at least five to ten years? What is your perception of him and his coverage of Chicago? Um, being that you're from Chicago, I mean, basically for the most part, people despise him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because it's like a coward with a microphone. A coward with a platform, and you built your platform off our timely demise. So we, it's a distaste in our mouth for him. Like it's no respect, it's no love. You know that's not journalism. You know my aunt a journalist, so I grew up a, in a household with a journalist. I know what they supposed to do and all that. So what he's doing is clickbait, clickbaiting and clout chasing. See what people don't understand with us using clout chasing as one of our slings. A clout chaser is a tension seeker. But, you know, we say attention whores. Mm -hmm. Whenever you don't know somebody personally and you done made 90 videos about this person and speaking on this person, what you trying to do? So if you monetizing your page, even if you're not monetizing your page, but you know if you speak on this situation and in a negative light, you know it's going to bring traffic because when you speak on an artist, the artists have a fan base. So if you got a fan base that like and love you, when you say something wrong, that fan base is going to come to that channel or whatever who talking bad about them, and now you get traffic. So some will say, that's why I understand when they say ignore, uh, ignore a person, ignore the situation, I understand it now. You see what I'm saying? Because we were speaking on a dude, he probably made 10 videos already. For what? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> see what people see what people got to do. You can't wake up with me on your mind. Go to sleep with me on your mind. You become an obsessive. Mm -hmm. And I love women. I don't like men. You know, what I'm <laughs> so, to 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 come thinking about me in every post. You you clout chasing. You see what I'm saying? And it and it make you look like a fool in my eyes because I'm not gonna give you that energy. I'm not gonna comment bang with you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. So. It's like you. It, that's just like me. If I y'all from Jersey, what part of Jersey y'all from? South Jersey, right outside of Atlantic City. Okay, y'all South Jersey. Now, I go. I get a platform. Like I told you, I got my own podcast. Now, on my podcast, I want to speak on everything that's going on in South Jersey. For what? You see what I'm saying? Like, I y'all there? Y'all can speak on what's going on in South Jersey. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when somebody else speak on it all day long, every day, they cloud chasing. They trying to get some traffic to their channel from speaking on us because we popping in a negative light. But we popping, we popping in a negative light mixed with some good light. Because Chance the Rapper and them can bring the good light. Kanye can bring the good light. You see what I'm saying? The love of drill music, duck. And the rest of them guys could bring that drill light, which we did. It took it and went all over to the UK. Right. So, so you know what I'm saying? So we got, you know, uh, even to our producers, like right now, salute to Ace Lex. He just got a gold single with the kid Rod Wave from Florida. 
You see what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, we got producers, we got writers, we got actors, athletes. You know, it's more that can be done for our children, but people running away from it because they don't want to get back though, or they don't want to get in the middle of it. So when I speak on things every time, I put my life in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? Because I would go, I'm going to go in the neighborhoods and speak to them. However they want to do it, that's how I'm going to do it. If we're going to pull up in the gas station, pull up on your block, I'm coming. But I want to see how can we resolve the situation. You see what I'm saying? The problem is I want to be the preventer. I want to prevent it from getting to the gun violence. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to keep it 100 like I was them before already. Right. So you you harm my family or my close loved ones, I want revenge. And as they say, eye for eye. You see what I'm saying? So knowing those type of situations, and then if you do try to back down, now you consider the chump. Mm -hmm. So do you take the high road and say, hey, I'm going to just be the bigger person. We losing all around the board if we retaliate. Or you're going to lay on your man and get your man. But as we seen, a lot of the innocent people is getting hurt for, for nothing. Yeah. For just living in neighborhoods. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's kids that go to school, go to work, come home. But on his way going from school, work, and home, he can get killed because he walking up a block that his neighborhood is in two and it's not his neighborhood he just lives in the neighborhood he's not on the front line for this neighborhood or nothing mm -hmm. but because he walking down that block at the wrong time he can become a victim there's so many people that got killed like that in chicago wow yeah that's the heartbreaking shit the thing about <clears throat> excuse me media is that kind of frustrates me because we're in media and it's a gift and a curse because we wouldn't have these opportunities 10 years ago that we mm -hmm. have right now. We're not being we're not gonna be able to walk into a studio and say, hey, we got a podcast, we're good at what we do, here's an opportunity. So that's a blessing. But then the other side of it is you have people like an academic to the clown you were just talking about a couple segments ago, where they have an open avenue to say or commentate on whatever they want, get maximum attention, and now they're considered media, but not knowing the collateral damage that's being done. So how is it? How do you guys navigate when it comes to artists and things like that? Or how do you tell um young artists to navigate when it comes to media? In 2020 i mean i tell them all to not fall for the trick bag you know what i'm saying even though with the, my last situation right now they saying i was caught in the trick bag but i wasn't uh -huh. like i said earlier and i stand behind what i said if you say anything about anybody mother or children i'm on your heels so at the end of the day whether whether and then to then for me to see it on my own i wasn't wrong you see what I'm saying? Because my thing was, if you're going to talk about somebody else, what's in your closet? You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're going you to pass judgment on somebody else, pass judgment on yourself. So to combat what he was saying by saying, um, I don't know the truth, the story, whatever. I, now, I, can, I got a good, great, big, huge sense of humor. I mm -hmm. can troll and play and mess with him all day long on his yeah. internet. But right. I got too, I got too much going on for that. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to go back and forth trolling him and, and, and pissing him off or whatever. But homie, you brought your life issue to the internet. You've done that. I, I, didn't, I don't know you. I never heard of you or none of that. So I wouldn't have knew nothing about you to even comment the way that I commented had I had he not brought that to the internet, you see what I'm saying? And then it's like now you can't be upset because it's like the same gut punch. You gut punching this man's mother, disrespectful, calling her a liar. And then so I say, well, okay, if you got so much energy to speak on this man and his mother or what's going on in Chicago, have you resolved your issue of you being violated? So that's really the that's where I was coming from with it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't to antagonize him or try to shame him or nothing. But it's like if you're gonna get up here and speak on somebody else's issues, what about yours? Did you resolve your issue? Did you resolve your situation? 
So it get confusing. You know what I'm saying? Like these little guys look up to me and call me punk. So I treat them as nephews. You see what I'm saying? I don't care if they from the north side, the east side, the west side, south side, in my neighborhoods, outside my neighborhood. They embrace me, I embrace them. You see what I'm saying? So to even mention to the point of to say, oh, well, this guy and this guy dissed him on the record and you didn't say anything to them. You know? Hey, man, only God can judge them, man. And at the end of the day, everybody that have something negative to say about anybody that's deceased and all that, that's dis distasteful to me. 